Hey everyone and welcome back to Remember This Tech. In today's episode I'm going to be doing a quick couple tests, speed benchmarks on a new NVMe SSD drive that I got and it is a crucial P310 NVMe SSD. It is PCI Express Gen 4 NVMe 2280M.2 SSD. It's only a 500 gig drive. I figure I would use it in new upcoming build, but I wanted to test it as a separate review and see if this new drive lives up to its rated speeds. It says read of 6,600 megabits per second. It's, it claims it's up to two times faster than its Gen 3 drives, backwards compatible. You can get these on Amazon or B&H or your favorite retailer if it's in stock because during the Black Friday sales, they were not in stock. They're out of stock and had to get back order, but it was around 39 bucks. That's a, it's not a great deal. Well, compared to days gone by when you can get a 500 gig NVMe for like, you know, 29 bucks, 24 bucks, at least for one of these crucial drives or if they're or older ones. So it looks just like the, it's predecessor, you know, let's see what else is in the box. Nothing but um, little literature warranty etc so that it does it doesn't come with the NVMe screw you're gonna to have to utilize the screw that came with your motherboard and a lot of uh, manufacturers these NVMe drives SSD drives don't come with these screws because technically you're supposed to get one that comes with your motherboard so don't lose it as for for comparison's sake I'm going to compare it to like Samsung 980 Pro it's a two terabyte drive, just so we get an idea of what speeds it really is capable of because the 980 Samsung Pro has been around for a while and it's tried and true and we know it's a good performer. Uh, I'm gonna test this on my Asus B550 Prime Plus motherboard and it has PCI Express 4.0 slot and do some tests and then compare it to the 980. So without further ado, let's get rolling. Come on, let's go. So my final thoughts on the crucial P310 drive. It is a PCI Express Gen 4 NVMe and the advertised speed uh, 6,600 megabits per second in my Gen 4 slot. It came close. Keep in mind that Crucial advertises this drive as for everyday laptop and desktop users, okay? It's probably marketed towards their value line customers or their entry level. Now at the price point of $39, $40, I for the 500 gig, I'm not so sure I would just jump on this deal. If they come back down in price to $28 to $30, then it might be a more attractive deal for this drive. The performance is fairly good. Don't get me wrong. Crucial and Samsung drives are the drives that I trust the most, that I've used the most, and what I edit on and I trust my data on. So the 980 Pro, the two terabyte one drive, that's it's been around a while. Samsung, it's a trusted brand too. If you want higher speeds or near advertised speeds, and you know you're gonna be editing and you need that throughput or, you know, fast gaming and you can get <clears throat> this 980 pro drive for 100 to 130 then you probably should go with the 980 pro 990 pro maybe depends on the price and that's why i used this drive this pro samsung 980 pro as a comparison contrast like i said if you can get this for 28 bucks with 500 gig then it's probably a no-brainer and crucial i trust 
their brand and I use their drives in all my machines. And also Samsung. So if you can get Samsung 980 Pro, 990, whatever, for 100 to 120 for two terabytes, then it's not too bad of a deal, especially if you know you wanna get those speeds. Now, here is the warranties for Samsung and the warranties for the Crucial P310. If you're interested in either of these uh, NVMe drives, I'll put a link to the descriptions of both down below. Thanks for watching. Remember this tech.